really big penis is like the lunch on Sunday. Then you know you you eat a little bit more, and that's okay. <laughs> but if you do that every day, then all the rest is is gonna be boring. <laughs> so you can't enjoy anymore. Hey everyone, it's Harriet Sugar Cookie, and I am here with Valentina Nappi. Valentina is visiting me in Budapest again, so that means that the first time she came, I wasn't super creepy because she came back. I'm super creepy. Look, look, <laughs> look at her. Okay, I'll cover up. No, don't cover up. Okay, um, and our final topic today is cheating in relationships. We had an article that said cheating in a relationship could actually be healthy for that relationship. And the title's a bit clickbaity, but I think it's the general idea of sleeping with other people whilst you're in a relationship. I think a lot of people automatically label it as cheating, you know, they, they can't think of the idea of... Mm -hmm. the yeah, I, for, I've been nine years with the same guy and we have been in an open relationship since the beginning. Yeah. So we don't think about having sex with other people as cheating. Right. And, and would you say it's healthy or good for your relationship? I cannot think about being in a relationship in another way. Like I could yeah. never stand monogamy. I'll, I'll go, I'll go crazy. It will be so boring for me. Like the more I have sex with others, the more I want sex with my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. But if I only have sex with my boyfriend, then sex gets boring because you know even if I mean we have been fucking for nine years, so yeah. that's <laughs> that's a long time. It will get boring. And even the good thing is it gets better. And I'm happy because I feel uh, he's still really attracted by me. Yeah. Like he still does all those pervy things he uh, he did at the beginning of a relationship. Right. And you know, we're all every day knowing more each other and learning to please each other, so which is nice. But but still, is it's like eating. You don't want to eat. Even if your grandma is a great cook, you still want to go out to a restaurant. That, that's how I think of it. Do you tell your boyfriend when you sleep with other people or do you not tell him? Uh, mostly is, uh, you know, happens maybe, you know, I, sh I mean, I haven't had time lately. Yeah, it with just all the video game playing. <laughs> yeah, no, so, I mean, honestly, I w was last week, I, you know, I had a friend with Benefit who was in town. And I was so lazy, I was like, no, I'd rather, like, yeah, until you don't come home and yeah. show me your dick, like, you basically put it in front of me, I'm not gonna go out and, I don't know, have a half an hour drive just to get <laughs> But I think that's just the luxury of doing porn, like, you don't need to work to get laid, you know, you, I mean, you, <laughs> it's the other way around, that you get yeah. paid to fuck, so yeah. it is, you know. Because I think as well in the article, it's just the idea like some people go through relationships cheating on their partners and they never talk about it. Like they, they like both partners maybe know or think maybe the other one is seeing other people, but they never talk about it. Like it never gets brought up. That's really, I cannot, like if you do that to the person you love, how are you going to act to the people you don't love? Mm. I don't, for me, lying is really, really. But it's not lying. It's just not. Not saying it is saying lying. it. Like, I mean, if you assume that you are in a monogamous relationship, right, and then you cheat, that is lying. So you think it really just depends on what both partners consider the relationship, whether you're, you you both know yes, it's an open relationship, or yeah. you both think no, it's a monogamous relationship. Yeah, I mean, in my and my boyfriend case, sometimes I mean, it has happened that maybe I didn't tell him immediately, or he hasn't told me immediately, just because was in the situation maybe yeah. we were not especially when i am you know i'm in la the time is different it's nine mm. hour uh, nine hours back so it just didn't happen and then when you know when you hear the other person it's not the first thing you say and yeah. then maybe you tell it i don't know days after or something because it's not even considered that important like yeah hey i had you know it's like hey i went out with friends it's not that important you know what i mean i have to admit the the People I've met that have been very open about being in open relationships or open marriages have always seemed very happy. Yeah, like, it's the only way to be happy, I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that if you have an open marriage, it's going to be perfect and you're not going to have any problems. Yeah. But I have to admit, the people I have met, and it's not like polygamy, it's completely different yeah, to that. Yeah, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe in polygamy, but that's long, yeah. uh, it's another topic and it's really long. So I think... 
in terms of this article, I think the idea of cheating is bad because that's kind of like you're cheating as in you're lying, you're being deceptive. Yeah, like if my boyfriend will tell me a lie, I will be really mad about it. Yeah. It's two different... It's, yeah, you but decide the rules of the Certainly the idea of an open relationship where you do see other people, but honestly, I think that, ca- that, I think that can be very healthy for people. Mm-hmm. I mean, the idea is, is jealousy has nothing to do with love. Mm. And the same thing with sex. Uh, most of the time, whether we are attracted to someone, fuck someone, that has to do with reproduction. I think love is a type of something that you build together. Of course, it has to be based on irrational things that are, you know, be okay together, uh, be able to spend a lot of time together and be okay. And unfortunately, I mean, you can work on that, but if the person are not made to be together, there's not really yeah. nothing you can do. So there has to be, let's say, an irrational base, you know. I can definitely understand that, especially, I've, you know, I've been attracted to people, like, on a physical level, but then also think, but I don't really like them as a person. I yeah. really want to sleep with them, but I don't want a relationship with them. Yeah, that type of ratio that you, just, you go there, you sleep, <laughs> and then you leave. I'm thinking when uh, some feminists, they will put the, the fact that uh, they will decide to divorce just because they got cheated. Yeah. And they will fuck up the whole family and, you know, mm. also kids get involved just because their partner has sex with somebody else. For me, that is absolutely See, doesn't that just feel crazy. like crazy? Doesn't that feel like they're using the cheating as an excuse? Like, there's so Probably, many problems yes. already, but they don't want to say that they're breaking up because of all these small problems and mm. cheating just feels like a, a big thing that is a good scapegoat. But I feel, I feel cheating in, in this sense is very different. Like the, the idea of, of betrayal in a relationship or if your partner cheats on you, you often think like, am I doing something wrong? Am I not satisfying them? And you make, it makes you think like, what have I done wrong? Or there's something wrong with me. But really, like you said, you like to have variety with sex yeah. and things. So it's just a very different way of thinking, I think. Yeah, that unfortunately, if you, I think, you know, we are animals, we're also rational beings. And the thing is, if you don't accept that human beings are just curious about sex, and everyone is usually, mm-hmm. then you're always going to have problem on that side. I feel I also met a lot of couples that, you know, they split up because they stopped having sex. Yeah. And the thing is because they haven't put any effort because, you know, I had, I've been the same, with the same guy for nine years and there have been some periods that I'm less, I, I want to have less sex with him. Yeah. So I think you also have to balance. I don't want to say like do the sacrifice, but worry about what the other person wants to. Also, guess, let's be honest, sometimes, you know, having sex is like eating again. I <laughs> It's like, you know, someone offer you something and you're not really hungry, but then yeah. if you, if it's good, it's, it's there. like, it's I'll like, oh, have yeah, it. I'll eat it. I'll, you offer me coffee, yeah, I'll drink it. And sometimes it is just a, a matter of effort as well. Like if you, yeah. if you've been with someone for a really long time and you both kind of stop putting in the effort, you know, like you're so comfortable with each other and it's a good thing to know someone to the point where you're comfortable and feel very safe with them. But then, you know, you might see someone else and it's exciting again. Right, so I think they're just two completely different, feeling, yeah. At least for, for my experience, mm-hmm. of course, when it's with my boyfriend, it's always something um, more sweet, more, yeah. I mean, we have some moments that is more like aggressive sex, but it's yeah, it's something more tender. But would you do you still, you know, like dress up sometimes, you know, like really get dressed up and and you you want to be enticing you know uh dressed up no but i i feel like i kind of have stopped totally just because for work yeah i'm always doing that so in everyday life i will go out in pajama if i mm-hmm. could i mean sometimes i do so i did it's <laughs> it's different um but i think peep i don't know uh if i wasn't doing porn like if i wasn't working with my image yeah then yeah because i used to do it before porn i used to dress up yeah. and stuff i have all the little lingerie pieces yeah. to just to have sex so now i put high heels he asked me to put high heels <laughs> like okay I'll, I'll wear high heels to fuck but then when we go out i'll take them off i've never worn high heels in bed 
Actually, I never really worn high heels, so. There's no way you can do it now, really. I just don't know how to walk in high heels. Fun fact. On that very fun fact, we're going to wrap up. Um, so thank you so much, Valentina, for having this chat with me. I think we spoke about some really, really interesting things. So it's nice. This was Valentina Nappy. I'm Harriet Sugar Cookie. And there are some cats somewhere. Ta-da! <laughs>